My name is Scott McKay. I found Hope and Hope Church in 2004. Mark 11:24 says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Man, that sounds great. If there was one prayer my wife and I prayed more than any other prayer, it was that God would bring our wayward daughter home. When my wife and I got saved, me at 43, I'd like to say the rest of the family followed, but that wasn't the case. Plus, I'm now a baby Christian at 43. I didn't know what was happening. I would hear things like, read your Bible and spiritual leader in your home. What? I would start to question my own salvation. I would think to myself, God, are you punishing my family because of the things I've done? I slowly realized that following Jesus isn't easy. God was forming me, not in days and weeks, but years and decades. So as best as we knew how, we started to spend time reading God's Word, attending service at Hope, and getting plugged into the family. My family's story of sin and separation, that was page one. We're on page two now. God rewrote our story. That 38-year-old beautiful daughter of mine has come home. And at her request and my privilege, I got to baptize her. I asked her, what finally clicked? She said, watching you, Dad, reading your Bible and trusting Jesus no matter what life threw at you. I began to understand that God always wanted to save my daughter, but in the process, He also wanted to continue changing my heart. Let me leave you with this, my friends. Colossians 4.2 Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it, with thanksgiving. I'm only watchful for things that I know I'm gonna receive. So be confident that God will give you what you're praying for and thank Him before you receive it. Invite Jesus into your life and let God change your story.